मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड आई एम हियर नीरज कुमार दिनकर यस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फॉल प्रोटेक्शन व्हाट इज द फॉल प्रोटेक्शन व्हाट इज रिसोर्सेस ऑफ वर्क इफ यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क एज इंडस्ट्री सो गाइज फॉल प्रोटेक्शन इज ए वेरी मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट एंड हेजार्डस वर्क एट योर वर्क योर so guys today we are going to discuss about the fall protection i discussed yesterday scaffolding and uh, scaffolding and height work today we are going to topic ladder safety you know that ladder safety is very uh, ladder safety also uh, comes into the fall uh, fall uh, protects uh, fall uh, work at height so guys there is no uh, there is a need to be safety measures if you are going to use of ladder ladder is a uh, if a uh, if you know that if any accidental data in construction industry and any industry more and more person uh, more and more uh, accident in uh, accidents happen uh, happen with uh, working working with ladder so ladder is a very important thing if you are using of ladder so type of ladder you know that uh, also a type of ladder is there portable and fixable ladder so uh, ladders must be uh, installed fourth one this you fourth one fourth one means fourth meter four meters height of grounds and one meter must be width maintained this is a ratio or this is a standard of uh, um ladders installation so any types of ladders uh, used then first must be considered about about the fourth one ratio so this is important after that after that if you have uh, using of safety ladders then you must be ensure that uh, proper rungs and uh, ladders uh, ladders steps and railing hand hand railings must be provided and after that where is end of your ladder then 1 meter must be e e must be extend your railing because of persons if persons uh, going uh, climbing on ladder that platform area must be, be uh, railing should be there because of some body you know that some persons will not provided extension of railing so that times uh, not anchoring point is there maybe persons fall from ladder so this is very important and after that if you are going to inspe uh, inspections and installations ladder ladder anchoring must be must be checked anchoring point uh, should be structural and strong uh, strong anchoring anchoring point or uh, anchoring anchoring with the structure after that near the ground area well compacted and no there is any slippery and oily area and free from obstruction second thing monitor there is put a safety sign only one person allow or one times on ladders only one person allow or that uh, allow on that ladder allow on that ladders uh, ladders during the use of on course of using that ladder after that there is uh, provided safety training if you are going to climbing in on ladder uh, ladders uh, climbing and uh, climbing on ladder then three point of contact three point contact why why you have to maintain three point of contact because of your two legs is a importance because because to foot is there mention if you are are three contacts always used because of one contact hand must be hold on ladder in case of any uh, in case of uh, leg slip on uh, rungs rungs and steps that may be fall from height so there is mention three point of contacts also if climbing on ladder then first your front of body on ladder because of some persons the back side to back side uh, Uh, back side of ladders uh, uh, com coming from ladder that time if persons slip and fall directly on ground so guys also connect with the ladders three point contact with uh, in uh, your front of ladder 
not backside ladder so this is very important and ladder ladder must be inspections uh, inspection and valid tag system tag system there is nothing any uh, obstruction so i like this and mention hand uh, grip proper grip should be provided you, you know that if you are uh, in a, uh, in a summer seizures ladders uh, ladders uh, will be very hot due to high temperature so that may be uh, that time so you can provide it some um, pvc pvc and grip type of uh, handrails because of no persons uh, no person uh, persons may be uh, may be uh, difficult to climbing on ladder so this is this is very important for us you if you are using of ladder ladder is very important thing second thing we have this uh, second thing is there mentioned ladders if you are going to if you are going to use of ladder then must be uh, must be consider must be consider uh, considers during the ladder installations in that area no any electrical swap no any uh, uh, electrical no is there any uh, spoilage of uh, grease oil so the you can uh, you can resolve you can consider whenever ladder provided on your workplace second thing is structure formwork what is the formwork you know that formwork is a, a basically temporary a temporary platforms and shuttering that calls a uh, formwork the most of uh, formwork required for concrete construction and built by carpenters you know that if you are working conventional slab there is a also no so formwork um, there is a before preparation of concrete casting preparation of working platform preparation of uh, um, uh, preparation of uh, any uh, temporary work purpose that called formwork you know that uh, uh, shuttering work uh, also uh, this is completed by the carpenters you know that in front of building my there is many carpenters are uh, uh, doing the shuttering work so shuttering why shuttering work preparations because of after some setting were completed then pro, uh, then uh, reinforcement then and they can uh, work on, work on reinforcement then concrete casting so this is a temporary form work after that slab casting that may be removed within the 15 days that call is uh, so guys there is uh, many things many uh, safety measures uh, should be in place so guys there are stage of form work you know that complete placement in concrete placements and assembly uh, assembly uh, assemble for erection so that all are are need to be need to be provided so if you are going to uh, for work then you have to maintain you have to proper working platform suppose that if you are going to for work of ladder for work your uh, on height work so there that you can must be consider about the fall protection proper working platform should be there in peripheral of building peripheral of a working platform there it should be provided two guards handrail midrail i know you you know the standard of two guards 150 mm must be considered 550 mm must be considered as per indian standards or the mid rail and mid rails and hand rails must be 11 1150 mm hand rail so this is a uh, this is a standards for indian standards so we have to to uh, provided uh, provided and proper working platform make arrangement at your workplace because of mm. uh, because of this is a uh, very importance if you are not provided proper working platform that may be lead of any accident at your workplace so always maintain the working platform free from obstructions if you need to any materials on working platform then proper stack materials on working platform after that platform well supported with a structure a structural and anchoring point proper so if you are using a scaffolding for um, for the uh, for for work purpose then scaffolding must be as per 
standard 3696 already we have discussed uh, in previous video so uh, so guys uh, uh, that all are considered if you are using office scaffolding and in futures if you are working if you are uh, constructing high rise building there should be uh, avoided of cantilever platform because of this is very highly risky if you are using any cantilever is, uh, pla working platform because of this is a temporary structure but if you are using tower crane then uh, and you you should require you have to require the uh, cantilever platform so for material lifting purpose 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 so that time so you can um, you can op uh, um, you can uh, give opportunity in market there is a good uh, type of uh, cantilever scaffold in market uh, good type of working platform in market so we can uh, purchase and there is uh, safety measures always uh, good uh, because of also i am we are using the cantilever platform by the uh, by the form of by the our form work de department so this is uh, it is a serious issue if you are using uh, unapproved unprotected uh, cantilever platform if uh, possible to avoid i or uh, per, uh, take a, uh, give a uh, give the opportunity of new technology avoid any slope cantilevers if you are using slope cantilevers or to be avoid if not possible to avoid slope because of if you are using the gangway there is also slope or slope gangway because ramp if you are uh, build up build up the ramp there is also slope of working plat platform that times you have to consider a step maybe some uh, runs assembly if uh, foot hold system foot hold system so you can provide it some uh, some uh, small types of uh, wooden plank and uh, so that may be chance not slippery because of persons uh, whenever walking on on the slope or ramp there should be not uh, slippery so a, so if you are using a platform if you are using a forward that safety should be it should be must so after that at fall protection system this is the last uh, you know that if you are working uh, in construction industry many things many high right if you more if working more than 2 meters so 1.8 meter height that all are considered in height height work so there is need to be fall protection fall protection uh, should be must in place before you start the work so what is the fall protection today we are going to discuss about the fall pro protection AB, AB, ABC, uh, I think uh, you know uh, you have you understood that uh, ABC system if you are working in, in uh, any industry. So anything that could lead, what is the call for anything? Anything that could lead uh, lead a property loss and loss of uh, loss of violence of human body. If any any things lead to loss of violence and loss of body part. And fall from height that call uh, that call fall and there should be much of fall protection. Fall protection is very important methodology of ABC. ABC no the ABC E D D also included because of uh, already formula ABCD ABC methodology A means anchor. If you are going to work on height, work on uh, work at height then you have to you must be you must be follow the ABC A B C D A means anchoring anchoring matlab permanent where is anchoring your uh, anchoring so first you have to check anchoring point if you are using uh, if you are using of safety uh, um, uh, if you are going to work on height then first anchoring system must be checked by safety persons where is probe connected uh, connected your uh, harness so anchoring point is a uh, for anchoring anchoring point should be secured and well structures and which are capable to load of uh, load of uh, load taking of uh, human life because more than 265 kg must be considered and hang the load 
after the body support what is the body support if you are going to work on height first anchoring system second thing body support what is the body support fall preventive because of, uh, you know that safety belt the safety belt also measures safety harness and safety um, and belts and safety belts so there are many things many in markets for use strength uh, and systems uh, kits so safety belt is very effective effective if you are going to work on height so, so safety belts body support safety belt proper uh, use of safety belt because of uh, d-ring and straps and no defective first inspections of safety belt then proper wear safety belt some people say are uh, are skip the using safety belt proper safety belt so proper safety belt which are so because of you think about the this safety belt support to your body and save your life so first you have to check that your body um, check the proper equipments before use after that connector connectors means a connection device that be that may be uh, compressed compressed it at flexible lifeline and or rope strap so connected where if you are uh, observe that uh, some uh, people are uh, observing in construction industry person workers many people many workers not aware about the uh, fall fall prevent of fall protection because wearing safety helmet safety belts but there is nothing nothing inspection nothing check the correct where is connecting there if you are connecting the safety belt there must be if, if maybe fall fall then your connector must be incapable to hold them otherwise there is no need to use of safety harness because of this is a very important thing and uh, uh, this is a risk perception of worker behavior and main people behaviors because of you know that nowadays in two three months uh, uh, within the two three months i am daily reading in uh, reading and watching in uh, tv and uh, re uh, reading uh, in uh, newspapers uh, at many people's uh, many in construction industry accidents uh, accidents come due to lack of negligence because of worker unique safety belt but there is nothing uh, there are not proper connected during the work and person fall from height so this is a basic requirement and you have to who resolve you have to reduce that type of uh, behaviors so proper connective systems a b c a matlab anchoring b matlab body support c matlab uh, c c matlab connectors and b matlab first discipline discipline and declaration declaration means what is declaration a mechanism mechanisms which are going to use uh, uh, suppose that safety belt so first safety belt what is uh, quality of safety belts uh, and uh, what is load capacity of safety belt so first we have to check amount of uh, amount of force how much uh, capable to load that safety belts because of you know that you, you have provided safety belt persons using last two months three months three years one safety belts nobody is checking the safety belts so this is a fact so every week safety harness must be checked by the competent person and always tell them all workers if you are going to work on height this is a very uh, helpful to you if you are going to continuous work safety is nothing but safety is a continual you know that i uh, already mentioned in iso 45000 continual improvement that called continual improvement so proper check of safety harness and train them all workers and take discipline so if you are going to work on height, work at height, then always use of, of uh, engineering controls, your hierarchy is there mentioned, all eliminations, eliminate the hazard. If you are, uh, if you are, have to eliminate, if you are going, if you, if uh, should be, uh, eliminate the height work, that possible to eliminate height work. After that, no any chance of eliminate, then you can, Take the uh, take um, sub uh, substitution substitute means uh, others push, uh, uh, others some others additional uh, process and change the your process 
change your uh, um, uh, your plan after that engineering control if not change your plan if you are not possible to suppose that persons who working on height and cleaning the window why need the window in a uh, outer side of building so we can avoid the outer side of building we can uh, uh, do the uh, uh, we can clean the window inside building inside room then risk will be all uh, uh, risk uh, and uh, risk will be reduced and so that call eliminate eliminate the hazard after the substitution what is the uh, substitution substitution means we are going to outside work but uh, after substitution uh, after a vehicle uh, suppose a vehicle substitute the uh, and change the plan we are going to work under side of window so that uh, substitute there is also uh, no need to engineering control no pp because of you are uh, eliminate the hazard you have to eliminate the hazard and reduce after the substitution uh, after the engineering control if you are going to work under side uh, inside of building uh, or cleaning the window there is risk may be low so if you are working at height first you have to mention eliminate the hazards and uh, eliminate the hazard substitute and uh, uh, and proper training and work behavior, behavior training more and more tra training about the behavior worker competency levels and sub, uh, some safety the administrative control safety signage warning so this is a uh, safety measures if you are going to work at height so guys today we are going to discuss on the fall protection system there is uh, many uh, things of uh, many things many uh, clauses many rules during the work at height but we are going to, we have discussed on the basic requirement basic requirement of safety work at height so guys thanks for watching my video